Welcome to the ACE Project, brought to you by the Literacy.io team at Texas A&M University. I'm your host, Ashley Stack, also known as Captain Comprehension. We are so excited you'll be joining us on this reading journey and hope you and your child enjoy this time together. So get comfy, rev up your brains, and get ready to think, because we are ready to help you become a comprehension detective. Hi, super readers. Welcome back. It's Captain Comprehension, and I am here to guide you on your journey becoming a comprehension detective. Welcome to week nine of our podcast. This week, we're reading the story Hair Love by Matthew Cherry. Have you ever had a special day that you were super excited about? Today, we are going to read about a girl named Zuri who has a special day, and she wants everything to go well. But there is one thing standing in her way from making this special day awesome. Let's be detectives and figure out what Zuri's problem is and how she and her daddy get creative to fix it. Before we begin, let's go over our vocabulary words. Our first word is kinks. Kinks means to bend or twist, or to make something bend or twist. A synonym or word that means the same might be curl, twist, or bend. And an antonym, or word that means the opposite, might be straight or line. Our second word is pick. In our story, a pick is a flat, square-shaped comb with a handle that's used to style hair. It can also mean the act of using a pick to style your hair. A synonym or word that means the same might be comb or brush. There aren't really any antonyms for this word. Here's an example of a pick. Our last word is beamed. Beamed means to smile with joy. A synonym or word that means the same might be smile or glow, and an antonym could be sulked or frowned. This guy right here is beaming. All right, detectives, pause your video and text POD09 to 866-903-2545. It will get you started to answer the first vocabulary questions. Our first question is which word is an antonym for beamed? A. Frowned B. Smiled C. Glowed D. Grinned Our second question, which is the best definition of pick as used in the story? A. To gather like fruit, B, to rob, C, a comb, D, to choose something. Okay, it's time for us to read our story, Hair Love by Matthew Cherry. My name is Zuri, and I have hair that has a mind of its own. It kinks, coils, and curves every which way. Daddy tells me it is beautiful. That makes me proud. I love that my hair lets me be me. In funky braids with beads, I am a princess. And when my hair is in two puffs, I am above the clouds like a superhero. My hair even does magic tricks. One day, Rocky and I were playing outside when along came the rain. From large to small it went, presto, just like that. There is nothing my hair can't do. Today I woke up extra early all by myself. I was too excited to sleep. It's a big day. Daddy was still sleeping. Shh. I said to Rocky as we tiptoed past him. Lately, Daddy has been worn out. He makes me breakfast, takes me to school, goes to work, picks me up, and yesterday we went for a bike ride around the park. I think he needs a break. Because today is special, I want a perfect hairstyle. This calls for a professional's touch. Paws off, Rocky! Crack! Daddy heard the crash. Zuri, what on earth? he asked. I was only trying to help, I said. Daddy smiled. Can I help too? 
It'll be a piece of cake, Zuzu. The first style was a big no way. The second was no better. No, Daddy. Then Daddy tried slicking my hair back into two puffs. Ouch! Daddy yelled. Wait a minute, Daddy said as he reached into the drawer and pulled out a pick. Ta-da! Daddy, really? I said. I'll be right back, he promised. Now, how's that? he asked, pulling a hat down over my eyes. Daddy, come on. We can do better than that. I really need my hair to be special. Don't worry, he said. We'll figure this out. Then I had a great idea. Daddy gathered all the tools we needed and we were set. Watching carefully, Daddy combed, parted, oiled, and twisted. He nailed it! Funky puff buns. Pretty, pretty, and so much fun. Rocky approved, too. I put on my superhero cape as the final touch to a perfect look. Where's my Zuzu? Mommy called from the door. She could not get in the house fast enough. Mommy! You've got to be the prettiest supergirl I have ever seen, she said. And your hair is beautiful, Zuri. Who did it? I looked at Daddy and beamed. Mommy smiled. Very nice. Thank you. We learned from the best, Daddy said as he gave her a big hug. My hair is Mommy, Daddy, and me. It's hair, love. Wow, I sure hope you enjoyed reading that story with me this week. Now it's time for us to think about the text structure of the story. I heard them say because, and Zuri said a big no way to how Daddy did her hair one time. Then the second style was no better. Finally, they nailed it. Daddy was trying to help. Daddy yelled. Hmm, what text structure do you think this is? All right, detectives, get out those bookmarks, and then you're going to go back to the texting survey to answer the question about the text structure of this passage. What is the text structure of the passage? A, comparison. B, cause and effect. C, problem and solution. D, cause problem and solution. Welcome back. It's time for us to write our main ideas. Hopefully you identified the text structure as being cause, problem, and solution. So we are going to use the sentence stems, the cause is, the problem is, and the solution is, to write our main idea. Go ahead and text that into the survey now. Here's what I wrote for my main idea. The cause is Zuri wants special hair. The problem is Zuri and her dad don't know how to do the hair she wants. The solution is her dad gathers the tools and learned how to create Zuri's special hair. How did yours compare to mine? I'm sure you did a fabulous job. All right, let's look at what a multiple choice main idea question might look like. What is the best main idea for the selection? A. Zuri wants her hair to be special, but her dad does not know how to style it. Zuri does not like the way her dad styles her hair. B. Zuri's hair has a mind of its own and will not cooperate when her dad tries to style it. C. Zuri wants her hair to look special, so when she and her dad don't know how to style it, they gather tools and learn together. D. Zuri can be anything she wants because of her hair. She can be a princess or a superhero, and her hair even does tricks when it's wet. 
Okay, detectives, remember, you are looking for the answer choice that contains the cause, the problem, and the solution. Pause your video and send in your answer now. Welcome back. It's time for us to write a summary together. Remember, as we write our summary, you're going to start by using the main idea sentence stems and add details to each part of your main idea. Okay, so for our main idea, we wrote the cause is Zuri wants special hair. The problem is Zuri and her dad don't know how to do the hair she wants. The solution is her dad gathers the tools and learned how to create Zuri's special hair. So think of a detail that could go with each piece. Pause and discuss this with your adult partner. When you're ready, continue to see what summary I wrote. Hey there, detectives. Here's the summary I wrote for this story. The cause is Zuri wants special hair for when her mother comes home. The problem is Zuri and her dad don't know how to do the hair she wants. And Zuri does not like the styles her dad tries. The solution is her dad gathers the tools, like an iPad and hair tools, and learned how to create Zuri's special hair by watching videos. How did your summary compare to mine? Okay, it's time for us to answer a multiple choice summary question. What is the best summary for the selection? A. Zuri's hair is curly and kinky. It allows Zuri to become a princess with braids and beads or a superhero with puffs like clouds. Zuri is proud of her hair and so is her family. B. The day her mom comes home, Zuri wants her hair to look special, so she and her dad try to style it. They aren't quite sure how until they gather their tools and watch a video to help them nail her hair. C. Zuri wants her hair to be special for her mom. When her mom comes home, she tells Zuri and her dad what a great job they did styling Zuri's hair. Zuri says her hair is mommy, daddy, and her. It's hair love. D. Zuri wakes up early to style her hair. Unfortunately, her cat breaks her iPad and she's not able to finish before her mom comes home. Zuri is sad that her hair did not look the way she wanted. Pause your video and text in your answer now. You're doing such a great job, detectives. It's time for us to make some inferences. Remember, when we infer, we take clues from what we read, we mix them together with what we already know, and we make an inference. Let's get started. What can you conclude as to why Zuri's father is so worn out lately? Why did Zuri want her hair to be so special? Pause and think about these questions before you continue. Okay, so what can you conclude as to why Zuri's father is so worn out lately? A. He has been working two jobs that has him working at nighttime. B. He has been up sick for the past few nights and he needs his rest. C. He has been doing a lot for Zuri since her mom has been away. D. He has been up all night watching hair videos to try to get better at doing Zuri's hair. Pause your video and text in your answer. Why did Zuri want her hair to be so special? A. She was excited to wear her superhero cape for her mommy. B. So she could spend more time with her daddy. C. Her mother was coming home that day. D. It was the first day of school. Pause your video and go back to the texting survey to answer your final question. Thank you so much for joining us this week, Comprehension Detectives. I sure hope you enjoyed reading Hair Love with me. I cannot wait to join you again next week. Remember, we can all be super readers. This is Captain Comprehension, signing off.